With new emission regulations just round the corner, Honda still had a pretty full list of motorcycles and scooters that had yet to get the Euro 5 tweaks. This week, they did plenty of catching up when they unveiled seven new models joining their lineup for 2021. The first bike in the group is the new 2021 CB1000R, which we were expecting since Honda teased its update a few weeks ago. While the changes Honda had to perform to keep the bike compliant with regulations were relatively minimal, they took the opportunity to also freshen up the design. The 2021 CB1000R receives an updated headlight bezel, set at a bit of an angle and topped with a short flyscreen looking shield that covers the new 5-inch color TFT instrument display that connects the rider to their smartphone via the Honda smartphone voice control system. And there's also a USB charging socket now under the seat. The 998cc inline 4 engine gets revised fuel injection settings and Euro 5 compliance. The radiator frame and side plate shape were also reworked and the bike is now fitted with a pair of W-spoke cast aluminium wheels. Also new for 2021 is the CB1000R Black Edition, which is exactly what the name suggests, a blacked out version of the bike equipped with a standard quick shifter. The new CB1000R Black Edition amplifies the more aggressive outlook even further, complementing the new lines with a handcrafted custom look. Thanks to the deep graphite black paint scheme and black headlight bezel, fly screen, forks, radiator shrouds, airbox covers, exhaust and muffler details. The 2021 CB650R received some new changes too. Euro 5 compliance for the engine has been achieved with no loss of top and power. Other improvements include slightly more forward set handlebars, improved visibility for the LCD display thanks to changing the LED angle and font size, and a USB Type-C charging socket under the seat. New smaller side panels accentuate the minimalist style, as does the rear mudguard which is now constructed from steel rather than nylon plastic. Showa's 41mm separate function big piston forks are a major upgrade. A pressure separation damper in one fork tube and spring mechanism in the other deliver high damping performance and lighter weight. Together with the use of a larger size piston, the result is increased feel, bump absorption and control. The 2021 CB125R features a brand new more powerful 4-valve liquid-cooled engine. The fuel injection has been revised and the result is not just emission compliance, but a bump in peak power and torque, now producing 15 horsepower at 10,000 rpm and 11.6 Nm at 8,000 rpm. Honda claims that this is the first 125cc motorcycle in the world to feature Showa's separate function big piston front forks as standard. It also gets an inverted LCD dash and LED lighting all around, including the indicators providing a real premium feel to a 125cc bike. One of the best all-rounders, the NC750X, gets a well-rounded evolution. More horsepower plus higher redline and revised gearbox ratios, which come hand-in-hand -hand with throttle bar wire management, three riding modes, refined and expanded Honda selectable torque control. Its renowned fuel efficiency is maintained and 13 pounds has been shaved from its curb bait. A redesigned frame is clothed in sharper edge styling, the unique upfront storage compartment is usefully larger and the seat height 1.2 inches lower. The NC 750 x will still offer a manual transmission and Honda's dual-clutch automatic transmission. A new windscreen, LED lighting and a full-color LCD dash round out the updates. Honda's groundbreaking XADV gets a comprehensive update for 2021 as well. Extracting more power from the engine, a higher red line and revised gearbox ratios which come hand in hand with throttle by wire management, four default riding modes, refined and expanded Honda selectable torque control, all with no loss in fuel efficiency. A redesigned frame is clothed in all new bodywork and the seat has been reshaped for easy ground reach. The storage compartment is larger, which now includes a USB charger, and there's also a glove box. Twin LED headlights feature daytime running lights, and a 5-inch TFT display allows smartphone connectivity via the new smartphone voice control system. 
At the heart of the NC750X and the XADV is the same 750cc liquid-cooled parallel twill engine, which now makes just under 58 horsepower at 6850 rpm. It's a modest increase over the 54 horses produced by the outgoing version. In both the NC750X and XADV applications, Honda optimized its gear ratios to make the first few gears feel a bit sportier as soon as you roll out. The Honda Grome has been refreshed for 2021 as well with some new changes. New quirky retro styling with easily removable body panels, a new Euro 5 specification air-cooled engine and a new 5-speed transmission. Revised LCD dash includes ref counter and gear position indicators. Pricing and availability have yet to be announced for all these new models, as since we don't get the current X80V in North America, it seems unlikely that we'll get the updated one. But hopefully the NC750X will be headed to our corner of the world in short order. What do you guys think about the new Honda 2021 lineup? Let us know in the comments down below which one are you looking forward to the most. Hope you liked the video, if so please hit that like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.